Hello and welcome to Crumbs and Doilies HQ. I hope you guys enjoyed all the vegan recipes I gave you throughout January. Um, if you're not vegan, you should check them out. And if you are vegan, you should definitely check them out. They're really, really yummy. Um, before I get on with showing you how to make this amazing caramel cornflake brownie, I just want to let you know that me and the Cupcake Gemma team have been working really hard on some exciting new content for this year. So make sure you've subscribed and clicked on the notification bell so you don't miss any of the extra uploads. There's going to be some new series, including Tuesday Tips with the CND team. They're going to be showing you a few little neat hacks for your baking. So, really fun stuff this year, but for now, let's get on with the recipe. Now, to start with, I am going to be using a really, really high quality chocolate, 70% cocoa solids, which will give it a really rich chocolatey flavour. If you don't want to use that stronger flavour, use 56% if you can get hold of it. Um, and I'm going to be melting that together with my butter over a bain marie. So I've already got my pan with simmering water in it and a heatproof bowl. Make 100% sure you use a heatproof bowl. So I've got 165 grams of each of those. So just melt those together over a quite a low heat. Just stir it occasionally to make sure it's all getting heated through evenly. Um, and definitely don't let the bottom of the bowl hit the water because that will heat it too quickly. So my chocolate and butter is lovely and melted. So I'm going to turn that all off and take it off the heat. And now I'm going to beat my eggs and my sugar together. And what I have got is three large free range eggs and 330 grams of sugar. So as you can see, I've got a balloon whisk attachment here and I'm going to whip that together for a few minutes. What you want is for it to be super pale and fluffy and basically doubled in size. If you like chocolate, which I'm assuming you do if you're watching this video, then you must subscribe and tune in on the 10th of February, which is a Sunday, be the first time I've uploaded on a Sunday and it's going to be kind of a bake along. Uh, it's a new series I'm doing uh, where you guys bake along with me at home and it's simple cakes like classic stuff that you really like have to know and just really simple stuff that you can bake on a Sunday for your family and friends. So make sure you've tuned in for that. I also will be posting a list of ingredients and a shopping list on Instagram a few days before that so make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. Right, it's there, so it's now time to go back to our chocolate and butter mixture. I'm going to turn this down, otherwise it's all going to fly out of the bowl. And just pour that in gently, and obviously this was hot, but now it's had a little time to cool down, so it's just right to put in. So once that's all mixed together thoroughly, just turn that off and you want to add your dry ingredients. So I've got 120 grams of plain flour and 45 grams of cocoa powder. And I've also got half a teaspoon each of salt and baking powder. And then you just want to turn that on on a very low speed and fold it all together. You can do this by hand with a metal spoon or a spatula if you prefer. Alright, that's all come together nicely. So get rid of your balloon whisk. And now I'm putting it into a 10 inch tin. I've already greased and lined it with baking parchment. So just whack all your batter in and spread it out. So once you've leveled it off with a pallet knife, you then need to bake it at 170 degrees C. Now, depending on how you like your brownie, you might like it a little bit more cakey and a bit more completely done, or a bit more fudgy in the middle. I like to have mine a little bit fudgy, so I'm gonna do mine for 18 and check it with a toothpick. Um, if it comes out a little bit loose in the middle, like not completely clean, that's okay by me. So the brownie came out of the oven, it's completely cooled down and it's looking pretty tasty already, but it's about to get even tastier because I am going to make a delicious caramel cornflake topping to go on the top of it. So I'm going to start with a big pan and I have 600 grams of caster sugar and I'm going to make a dry caramel, that's why you don't add any water. So I've got it on a medium heat and it, nothing much will happen for a little while, but when it starts to melt, you want to give it a shuffle every now and then and even bring the edges into the middle with a wooden spoon. That will help it to melt evenly. So once it's all melted and a lovely golden amber colour, you then need to add 400 grams of double cream. 
And once that's all mixed in and calmed down a little bit, you can add your butter. I've got 200 grams of unsalted butter. I've also got one and a half teaspoons of salt and a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just going to mix that all in until it's completely melted. So once you have a nice smooth caramel, you want to put that back onto the heat, onto a medium heat is fine. And make sure you have a sugar thermometer. I'm going to be using this bad boy, but you can use whatever kind of sugar thermometer you like. And you need to heat it until it reaches 118 degrees. Right, that's 118. So take that off the heat and please, please, please be careful. I'm sure it goes without saying that 118 degrees C is incredibly hot and you don't want to get any of that on you. Um, so while it's still hot, you want to add your cornflakes. So I've got 250 grams of just regular cornflakes without any kind of additions. I'm going to pour that in and stir it all about. Make sure that you thoroughly coat every single cornflake in there. You don't want to have any naked ones. And when you are satisfied that you've done that, you can top your brownie with this delicious yumminess. And then just using your spoon, spread it all over the whole top of your brownie. And then you want to leave that for at least an hour to cool down completely before you kept yourself a slice. And there it is. That is one epic brownie. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. Um, and also, this is just one of the many things that we have in the shop in Soho. So if you're ever in the area and you fancy a sweet treat, please come and see what we've got. We might even have this you're lucky. Um, and we can also get hold of my merch there if you haven't got that already. But if you're not in the area, don't worry, you can buy it on my website, cupcakegemma.com. Mm. Wow, that is very tasty. Um, don't forget, that we've got a Tuesday tips video next week. That'll be our first one. Tune in for that. That's where the CND team show you amazing tips to make your baking super duper cool. So I will also be back next Thursday at the usual time, so I will see you then. Bye.